Javier, thank you very much for, for taking the time and for joining Great us at the RCE conference. Um, you talked in your um, in your presentation about some of the mega trends that are sort of um, we're going to be seeing in the coming years. Can you just uh, elaborate on those a little bit? Yeah, first? certainly. As far as uh, as I alluded to, three main mega trends uh, that that based on the research that uh, that we've performed, it really centers around the, the future of the industry, which uh, is centered on millennials. Uh, the technological advancements, which is around the Internet of Things, and then how uh, how projects are delivered, which mm -hmm. is, I believe, uh, you know, the advent of the knowledge consultancy of the future. So you, you talk about the Internet of Things, and obviously one of the big concerns that a lot of people are going to have is around cybersecurity. So how do you see that area developing? Well, in it's a huge years? issue. Uh, I mean, it's, it's a huge opportunity uh, in terms of where the industry is going in, in the melding of engineering services with big data. Uh, Internet of Things, uh, mobile devices, etc. Anytime you have uh, the the advent of a massive number of devices uh, that are going to be connected to the internet, uh, security is a huge issue. Mm -hmm. So that skill set is definitely going to need to be um, embedded within the you know the engineering consultancy of today and the future. So taking taking those issues uh, as a whole, then what is your advice to the consultancy and engineering sector going forward? Well, I think that uh, it's ripe for disruption. Uh, I believe that uh, the engineering consultancy as we know it today is up for an Uber-like transformation, and or Halo, mm -hmm. uh, depending on uh, your preference. And uh, it's who's going to define it, mm. who is going to bring the skill sets and the technologies and meld it with the engineering expertise uh, in the best possible way. Okay, so. Speaking about the conference now, what, what do you want to see? What, what are you hoping to get out of it um, for the next couple of days? Well, it, uh, as far as the conference objectives, I mean, it's, it's always great to come to, uh, to London. It's a, a major design hub for the world. And just to hear and learn from industry leaders. We had great panels uh, from the leaders uh, this morning. And just sharing what are, what are they hearing, what are they seeing, um, what's keeping them up at night, as, mm -hmm. as was discussed. Uh, and just to hear that firsthand is, is a great opportunity. Excellent. So, what are you thinking of the broader sort of industry issues that we're going to be facing, not just not just those those that you sort of um, identified in your presentation? Well, I, I think there are, are macro trends and consolidation mm. of the industries. Obviously, um, is taking place. Uh, the mega firms uh, are you know the the firm in the past that had a few thousand staff used to be considered a large consultancy. Now it's 50,000, mm -hmm. 75,000, 100,000. So uh, how that all plays out is, is, a, is a big issue. Certainly the globalization of our industry um, that's been taking shape over the last 15 years or so. Mm -hmm. um, as I've noted earlier, the technology. So there's these, uh, these confluence of factors mm -hmm. that are, are presenting themselves and uh, it just, it's a very interesting time in, in our industry. Do you, do you envisage the possibility of ACE working together with you to, to push these and make sure that people are prepared, you know, from, from sort of government to, to the, the industry itself? Yeah, as far as working together with ACE, I mean, ACE is a world-class association, uh, very closely connected to its constituents and, and the consultancies it represents. So absolutely, we've had a long-standing partnership with ACE and hope to have that for many years to come. And, and, and one that we can collaborate and understand uh, from ACE what uh, its constituents are, are, are seeing and facing.